Hey everyone, it's Pikmin. Um, I've never played this game before, and there is no recorded history of me playing this on YouTube. Um, so I thought, you know, why not give it a shot? Definitely didn't record videos with this using Fraps the last time I played. And definitely there is no recording of me doing making a 13 minute video with the voice of Kermit the Frog. That does not exist. We're gonna, uh, I've never played Pikmin, I, and you can't prove that I have. So, here we go. Uh, no, for real, Pikmin is one of my, like, I don't know, it's, I hate this term because it's so overused, but, and it's also not, this doesn't really apply to this, but I want to say Hidden Gem, but it's not, though. Pikmin is, like, a very popular series. Um, but it's more of, like, I don't know, I feel like it goes under the radar a lot. Like, I haven't played Pikmin 3, because I'm not going to buy a fucking Wii U, but if they put this shit on Switch, goddamn, like, immediately. Let me put it this way, I like Pikmin enough where it's like I tried to main Olimar for a while in Smash. Just because I was like, he's great and underused. I'm on a level with you two. I, I think I might have actually played this, like for real. Like not even the Kermit video, I think I did this, play this a different time. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't and <laughs> move on. I don't remember playing the other one. I think I tried to and then the files got corrupted. So I don't know. I don't think I did. Anyway. <clears throat> my name is Captain Olimar. While traveling through space, my ship was struck by a meteor. I must have blacked out and I woke on the surface of a weird planet. With so many parts lost, the skeletal hull of my beloved dolphin is a pain painful sight. The engine is gone. I'm stranded. Hey, dolphin, that's the name of the emulator. To make matters worse, my atmospheric sensors indicate the planet's environment contains high levels of poisonous oxygen. My life support systems can function for only 30 days. If I can't repair the dolphin by then, no, better not to think about it, I must find the missing ship parts. Um, <clears throat> so that's kind of like the arbitrary timeline they give you for this game. What's the button for camera? Are you going to give it to me yet? No, okay. I don't like being this zoomed in. God damn it. It's gotta be one of you. <laughs> eh? Alright. I give up. So, like, I'm straight up just not gonna explain this game. If you don't know what Pikmin is, then just fucking watch the video. Like, I... <laughs> I could explain, but... It's tough. I think Pikmin is unique enough of a game where... It's not a strict genre. If anything, it's kind of RTS, but, like... A kid-friendly version. It's It's tough. It's weird. A strange thing appeared before me. I had barely begun my search when it reared up as if it were waiting for me. And then it dropped a single seed. What is it? Is it alive? Is it a machine? It resembles a vegetable in my home planet that we call an onion. I shall call this an onion too. Onion too, electric boogaloo. Okay, here we go. Here's the camera I like. The seed that the onion drops took root in the soil and has now produced an adorable little sprout. The sprout emits a strange light and it sways back and forth without the benefit of wind. I cannot help but think it is calling to me. I am compelled. I must approach it and press A. Or X, because I'm playing with the PlayStation controller, but yeah. Look at this fucking Usopp looking motherfucker. Extraordinary! When I plucked the sprout it turned out to be a living creature. Not a plant. Picking it has done no visible damage. It just stands there, staring at me. Its shape is similar to the Pick Pick brand carrots I love so much. I believe I shall call it a Pikmin. Here I am, stranded Also, roll credits. Here I am, stranded on a toxic planet, fighting to survive. I mean, you haven't done anything yet. And yet I'm intrigued. I must research this fascinating creature. I shall try to grab it, throw it with A, and I will call it to my side with B. Hmm, perhaps it will react to C and X as well. Those are weird... First reactions to finding a new life form is to throw it <laughs> and then call it back to you. And then it's just explaining the camera. There we go. This is the good shit. Come, my friend. Yeah. Alright, well. Yeah, I was definitely supposed to do that. 
Astonishing! The onion has sown more seeds. The small red pellet the pectin harvested appears to be cutting down a flower. Or after cutting down a flower. It appears to be some type of food. Well, it can propagate more Pikmin. The onion seems to be some sort of incubator. Needless to say, I must study this strange life and form more I can't. I have a limit to how much I can do this, and I'm gonna hit it for sure. <laughs> like, I, I don't have the ability to keep that voice going that long. I wish I did. You kind of reset the camera there a little bit. Stop it. All right. I forget how many I need. So this is a. There are 30 days. The first day is a wash. It's the tutorial day. But, um, they don't really explain how much, um, I guess I'm sorry, they don't introduce the sundown mechanic until the next day, which is a, kind of a big part of the game. Um, alright, let's see, I got five of you fucks. I know I can climb up here, what is this nonsense? Alright, let's see. Ah, uh, there we go. Give me that good shit. I think you can get up to 12 Pikmin on the first day, give or take. Wow, they came right back to me. Oh, wait, shit, no. Wait, do this. It's more important. <laughs> what I like to do this is cheese the game a little bit, because it's going to move this little pellet on its own now. And it's still going to move it forward. <laughs> Only to an extent. The game doesn't like it when you try and fuck with it like that. And yes... Obviously, the five means you need five things to carry it. Not everything will be that obvious, but so far, that's what we're doing. Because we're in tutorial mode. Come, my friends. Alright. Let me grab this. What else do we got here? Someone help him. So if you double the capacity or go as much as you can, um, it'll go faster. Which is a neat mechanic. There's stuff up here. Nope, not yet. So they add some stuff to this area after you go here the first time. I'm not 100% sure how much I can do. I thought you can move up here, which is why it's weird. Um, and I know that area. It is kind of weird, because like, I, play I played this game a lot growing up. Like, I beat it a few times. Um, but it is one of those games where it's like, even how complicated it is, like the second I start playing, all the controls come back to me. Which is just bizarre. Onwards. Um, yeah. So I think this fat. I was gonna say speed run, but the fastest you can possibly do the game is to beat it in nine days. I want to say my record is nineteen. Which isn't that good, it's just I've never really tried for it. I'm gonna try and beat 19. The Pikmin are as curious as children. They form groups to perform tasks that would be impossible for an individual. A glimmer of hope has begun to shine in my heart. If I can make use of their skills, perhaps I can fix my ship. I shall conduct some. I shall sum up all I've learned of Pikmin conduct. And then we're just gonna skip over that because it controls. Alright, so that's the engine. Um, I'm gonna need some help on that. I think I can knock down this barrier. If you ever want to be like more specific, you can just like throw one or two at them. Yeah, I think I can knock this down. I wonder if it'll let me. Cause like there's stuff I can get here, but not really. Like there's no point. Um, cause I think you need water pikmin to get further with that. I'm gonna try and attach this last guy just to speed this up a little bit. I'm sure it's like a percentage speed increase or something like that. For sure, these dudes going two by two are gonna be a lot faster though. All right, getting that good shit done. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just felt I felt like I wanted to play this game again. And I was like, might as well record it. That's usually what I come to with this stuff. Also, this is what's happening. So if you have people, even though they're faster than the five block, they'll just like push them forward, which is great. I love when they're super efficient like that. So there is a mechanic here that I'm not really going to get into, because it's tutorial day and I kind of just want to finish it. But basically the Pikmin have three stages. They have that little leaf on their head, they have a bud, and then they have a flower. Normally the only- if they have a flower they move a lot faster, which is more important. 
Like, you can see they kind of lag behind to an extent. Like, if you just keep running, they, like, actually can't keep up with you. Um, so you gotta be a little careful with it. Uh, the longer you leave them in here, I think it takes maybe, like, half a day, maybe, like, a third of a day to get to a uh, flower on the top of their head, which will just be a lot more convenient. Um, there's also other ways to give them, like, instantly flower if you can find nectar, but... I could take advantage of the first day and just leave them here. And just, like, let the game run for a little bit, but I don't want to. I'm gonna take some... Basically just tap A. Yeah. I've noticed that when I add Pikmin to my group, they become filled with excitement and flush with bright color. In other times, they revert to a paler hue and give off a dim glow. Paying close attention to these differences is bound to help me distinguish between Pikmin. Um. Yeah. So if you, just, I think you just double, you just tap A. You don't have to like individually walk up to each one. But I was already doing that. So. Coolio, we got twenty-three. Um, I don't know how much is needed for the engine. Um, let's say 20. So, you may have picked up on the core focus of the game. Because the other thing I like, the other reason I like this game is it's very simplistic. There are 30 days um, before you'll die and run out of oxygen. And I've actually seen what happens when you do that, by the way. The bad ending of this game is you, like, pass out, the Pikmin put you into their onion, and then you, like, get buried in the ground and become a Pikmin. And it's kind of, like, horrifying in a way. Um, there's no mistake my ship's engine. Uh, I'm sorry. Amazing, there's no mistaking it. My ship's engine rests before my very eyes. By stroke of pure luck, I have already stumbled upon the most important piece of my damaged craft. Fate has smiled upon me, but how will I get it back to the dolphin? Yeah, it's a fucking mystery. Um, yeah, you need 20, that makes sense. Um... Oh, wait, did I just lose a Pikmin? Where's number... Where's number 23? Oi. This is the other problem, is like, I'll occasionally just lose Pikmin. I don't know where he went. Uh, I don't have access to the map yet, so I can't see where he is. I'm gonna lose a Pikmin, it's gonna be sad. There you are. Hey, bud. Come on. Yeah, sometimes they won't be able to, like, attach themselves in time. And... There's a way to control the Pikmin while they're running something, so you can, like, move the item more specifically. I know I've done it before, or maybe I imagined it, but I can't remember how to do that. That's, like, the, my one gap in the controls for this game that I can't remember. And they don't really tell you how to do it, either, I don't think. So, every so often, your ship will, like, transform like this, because you, like, get to a new stage. I think it's basically, you need a certain number of parts to, um, to advance the next area. Oh, glory. <clears throat> oh, glorious. With the hell of these Pikmin, I've taken a huge step towards home. My ship can once again lift off. The glimmer of hope is beginning to burn more brightly. What has become of the remaining parts? The search starts tomorrow. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> so any Pikmin that are either by your ship or by their onions, I think maybe even just in like this general area, like the safe area, they'll uh, they'll go to their respective onions and they'll take off. Any Pikmin that are not so fortunate will be eaten immediately. They don't really show that on the first night, but yeah. So, that's a thing. One day since impact, I have somehow managed to launch the dolphin, but I was surprised to see the onion lift off with me. Perhaps the Pikmin cannot survive overnight on the planet's surface, or have them, they merely decided to join me for other reasons. Either way, it seems they will help me again tomorrow. The dolphin is missing 29 parts. If I can't recover them all, I may never return home to my family on planet Hakatate. Analysis shows life support systems will function for only 29 more days. How can I repair my dolphin in such a short time? A dense forest is visible on the surface below. As it holds the keys to my survival, I name it the Forest of Hope. I explore it tomorrow. Coolio. And they give you a cool graph showing um, your population change. And like they give you numbers and stuff, which fucking I love. I absolutely fucking love the data side of this. It's so fascinating to me. Um, how long are we going for? About like 15 minutes. So I don't normally do shorter videos. But I think I want to try something new. And see what happens if I just like... What if I do a day at a time? 
Like, we'll do day one of my pick and playthrough, and then we can do day two, and so on. I think starting uh, in this next video, uh, there's like an actual like time mechanic. So like, I forget how long a day is in the game. I want to say it's like 15 to 20 minutes. So that kind of evens out a little bit more. Yeah, so I'm going to call it here. If you want to see more, let me know. If you don't, let me know too. Let me know if uh, you want me to continue to do the Kermit voice. Like, I fucking need your approval. Uh, but yeah, thanks guys, and uh, see you in the next video. Hey guys, uh, so I didn't do any videos for the month of October, because I streamed every day, almost every day. Uh, so there was no Patreon thing uh, showing all the people from September. So luckily, they were the same people. So this Patreon is for September and October. Um, and I'm going to include all the people who donated during the month of October. So let's just get through this. It's going to be a little bit. Um, so uh, special shout outs to Ertrev for the dollar. Uh, Sean, Norm P, and uh, Annie for the dollar as well. Wesley Walker, brand new Patreon uh, sub, and I am sorry because you joined right at, during the month, the, for the first month I didn't do this in like a year or two years, but double thank you to you. <clears throat> and then Carlos for the two, Azor with three, uh, John Bardet and uh, Maz with five, and then Sean Thomason, uh, Connor Soverwald, and ENIAC with the ten, and Michael Smith with a fifteen. Thank you guys a ton. Uh, reminder, Patreon, as low as a dollar a month, you can get access to all the videos that I currently have in my enormous backlog. Um, and, you know, just, that's all, just a dollar. So, that's Patreon. What's next? Uh, right. YouTube, uh, YouTube supporters. So, I want to big, uh, do a big shout outs to C. Miller and Maya, who are both at four months now. Uh, we got Michael Smith, Electric Narwhal, and Raptax with the seven months. And we have Louisa, John Barnett, ENIAC, and Moz with the eight months. Almost a year. I can't believe it's been that long. Um, and all of them get their special little badge next to their names when they comment on videos and when they comment in chat. It looks dope. You should get it. Um, and then, so that's all for the Patreon and YouTube support, uh, supporter people thing. thing bleh. Um, <clears throat> thank you to all of you guys. Uh, again, you can do it. You don't have to. It's not required. But you get a special thank you here. No, this is the extra part. I don't normally do this, but because it was an entire month full, I feel like I should. So, uh, first off, we're going to go through... For those who didn't know, I had a goal where if we hit $500 donated during the month of October total, that I would wear a Pikachu costume for the rest of the year um, for all of my uh, streams, and I guess Patreon stuff now, so, you know, I'm not going to say if we hit it or not, but, you know, just, yeah. So, uh, so I want to get. I'm not going to say the amounts. I'm just going to say the names. Uh, but I want to do a huge thank you to Eniac, Mayo, Norm P, uh, Austin K, uh, and John Barnett. Uh, you guys did the Patreon. Or no, you guys did the uh, regular donations, which is just there's a link to it. It's in the description of every stream and video. Thank you guys. Uh, I like these a little bit more because <laughs> YouTube doesn't take a cut, but that's fine. Thank you anyway. You guys are amazing. Uh, and for the Super Chats, I want a uh, big shout-out to Under a Bridge, Kievu, Sean here, and uh, for the fucking nail in the coffin, Spencer. Thanks, dick. Um, but yeah, super big shout-out to all of you guys. Um, thank you. Look forward to more videos. Uh, I'm going to try and get back on a normal schedule. Um, as always, if you like a series, like because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and do a little bit more random videos this month. If you like a series and you want to see more of it, comment, or I'm not going to know. Um, if you don't like something, you're like, I just, it's not for me. I couldn't get through the video, whatever. Comment that too. And then I know not to do it. Like, this is a real thing. <laughs> I'm a human. <laughs> um, and then, uh, yeah, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to try and mix things up a little bit. But if also, if you just notice I haven't posted a video in like two to three days, I probably just forgot. I have a bunch of them. So, uh, if you're ever curious, just like in the discord, like in the actual, like main, like general tab, just ask, has Nick done a video? And like a mod can like poke me or something and be like, Nick, are you doing any videos today? And I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. So I'm still trying to figure out the best time to release them with my current schedule. Um, for now, it's like 8 or 9 p.m. EST, which I don't really like. So also look for more streams. I don't know when I'll do it. Kind of when I feel like it. But yeah, thank you guys and look forward to seeing you next month. Adios.